Hi everyone, welcome to Phoenix Focus Studio. My name is Orshi, aka Rocky. I'm the founder and head teacher of Phoenix Focus Studio. I'm also a certified mindset and vocal coach, which means as a mindset and vocal coach, I do not work only the physiology of your voice, but the effect of singing on your mind, soul, and on your body. So my approach is quite holistic, which means I look at the whole picture when you come to me. So if you are interested in singing lessons, you can find the link below the video, phoenixvocalstudio.com. Or if you are someone who has no chance to take one to one lessons for any reasons, you can also join our membership site, which is called Phoenix. Phoenix is basically an online voice development platform for singers and singers-to-be. But if you want to know more information about the lessons or the membership site, you can find both links below the video. All right, so today I'm going to talk about Diana Ankudinova's one of latest performance, Can't Help Falling In Love. I'm quite curious because this is one of my favorite Elvis Presley song. I made a, a cover as well of it. You can find it on my channel. Uh, I made a cover of, uh, of it for my daughter, so it's, I actually have some really um, emotional attached to this song. So I'm very curious what what uh, how does she do it. So I'm not gonna talk. Uh, Let's do it. Wow, I have, I have very mixed feelings about this. Obviously, I, um, uh, they re 
kind of recomposed the, the original song and they made the whole song much more dramatic much uh, much more deeper it's very interesting yeah because this is a uh, yeah they, they changed the chords to be honest and the original has a more positive um, sensation it definitely touches different parts in the heart touches different memories different bits different parts that's what I could say because if I listen the original Elvis Presley one it makes me feel uh, love it makes, makes me feel loved that like that kind of pinky cloudy love <laughs> and this one I'm sorry it's, it's not a it's not a it's definitely not a bad thing to say, but it's so Russian. It's like going down deep and bring, make it so dramatic. That's how, that's how I felt. But please don't take it an offense. It's not an offense. It's just it's just so Russian. Um, um, but it's not a bad thing. It's just different. This one makes me feel, makes me remember, or it reminds me some kind of uh, more sad more serious uh, memories and emotions. The reason why I can't really say uh, now, I can't, I'm a little bit speechless because I didn't expect this. I expected the original. Uh, when it comes to the voice, uh, it's so unique, it's so... I, I would say that the timbre, the richness of her voice it's it's even it's imp even imp more improved it's something is really odd to me in this performance in this in this uh, composed version i don't know how to say an end and that's the reason i, I like to listen a few more times uh, these performances because I just don't want to, you know, stand here, stay here, like say nothing because it's, 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 like I said, I have very mixed feelings about this and my emotions are kind of very stirring, they, they are stirring inside because I wanted to listen more and more and more and more and more to, to, to understand what was this about because I feel like that she has much more to off offer and I didn't understand what what is she doing in a in a competition I don't really understand this show what is this show she shouldn't be in a show she sh shouldn't be in a competition or, or any any I don't think that this is the show or this is the way she should go she is to me like a female Dimash and Dimash is not doing shows like this, you know, and, and that's what I feel. She is much bigger now. She is, she is deeper. She could offer so much more. And why is she here? Why isn't she doing something different, something more, something more serious than these TV shows? I feel like that, that she has so, so she's so strong. And not just the voice, what's, what's inside of her, I'm actually, I'm scared in a good way because with this voice, with this, with this, with this approach, with this mindset, what she already proved before, I saw some of her performances and I told you that she was 17 when, when she was talking and, and she's so mature. What is she doing here? I feel like that she has much to give, but she has no chance to do it, and I don't know why. She she might not work with the right people, and she should. She has that power inside of her, and I feel like that it's still stuck. She she sang, she used her falsetto, uh, but to be honest, it I don't think that her falsetto is that strong than her low or mid-range 
and it's not a bad thing. I mean, I mean, uh, she should just use or, or work, obviously she can work on the falsetto more, but I don't think she needs her falsetto. Her low and mid range is the one when she can, she can release that power when she does the low sound. It's like it's like a tornado in my face. When she sings in falsetto, I don't feel that. It's beautiful, but I don't feel that. Everyone, every singer has a type of uh, just a part in her in her range where she can release, she can express the most, most of her, most of himself. You can feel it. When we listen it, we we can feel it. Like, yes, this is it, this is it. And when she does this low mid range, when she really, that's when I can feel that. Oh my God, I am, I am in that, in the flow with her. I can feel her. I can see her with my third eye, not in, the, not with the physical eye, with the third eye. When she sings, when she uses that, I can connect. I feel like that I'm connecting with her, and I see things here what I don't see with my physical eye. And that only happens when you are in the flow, when you are connected. So as a coach, I would say, as a vocal coach, I would say that she definitely could use, use that, that more of the wide, uh, the, the low and mid range. Because that's when she, is, she can connect with me here. But again, this is my opinion. Uh, so, uh, in, very interesting... Um, very interesting uh, performance, very mixed feelings I have. But again, thank you very much for... I'm very glad that she's finally back. I don't know what, what happened um, lately with her. I'm just a bit weird. I'm just surprised that wow, she doesn't belong to these shows. But anyway, the performance was absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much for uh, sending me this. Um, Feel free to send me more because again, like I said, I would love to do whatever you want to hear, whatever makes you guys happy. Uh, if you're interested in more videos, please um, post below the video. And uh, oh no, <laughs> sorry. If you're interested in more videos, feel free to subscribe. And um, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.